lot of people tend to skip San Jose when they come to Costa Rica, but it is worth spending at least a day before you head out to the islands. Walk along Central Avenue here in San Jose. Central Avenue is the main pedestrian walkway in San Jose. When choosing accommodation, it's a good idea to stay nearby. Make sure that you walk right along the main Central Avenue because that has all of the shops and cafes and restaurants and it'll take you right to Central Market where you can get your souvenirs. San Jose has many pedestrian streets, but Central Avenue is the main shopping street. This mile-long boulevard is filled with restaurants and shops, with the main attraction being Central Market. Come to Central Market and get your souvenirs. Central Market is one of the oldest landmarks in Costa Rica, dating back to 1821. If you stay near Central Avenue, it's a great location and you can just see all of the main sites within walking distance. We stayed right beside the National Theatre and it was a great start to check out all of the main sites. Close by you have the Gold Museum, you have the Jade Museum and you have the National Museum and it's all within walking distance. The National Museum sits within a fortress dating back to 1917. It was originally army barracks and today you can still see the smattering of bullet holes left over from the country's 1948 civil war. So one of my favorite places to go to a quiet place was along the California Avenue. Feels like a little slice of California there. There's a lot of government buildings, the National Museum, there's the graffiti wall and there's some quiet parks. California Boulevard truly does feel like a little slice of California and it's a quiet escape from the hectic pace of the city. Well, everybody loves a graffiti wall in the city and San Jose is no different. The artists here own their piece of wall for five years so it has really helped to curb the tagging and is made instead an artistic street along here in California Boulevard. suggest taking the free walking tour that leads from the National Theatre at 9 in the morning each day. It takes you through all of the neighborhoods and you're gonna see a lot of different places that you wouldn't if you just went on your own. The free walking tour is offered in English and Spanish by local guides giving unique insider tips to the city. At the end they are happy to give recommendations of other must-see attractions and even places to eat. Look at this feast. It's up to you what to tip, but we suggest 10 to $15. Well, you can't come to Costa Rica without going to a chocolate factory, right? Gonna do some tasting and probably some buying. Chocolate was once prized as much as gold, and it has a long history in Costa Rica. It was the country's top export before bananas and coffee, and recently it has gained resurgent as more plantations have popped up. So this chocolate factory is a pretty cool stop. They, do, they actually do workshops here, and you can see how the chocolate is made. But the best part is you get to taste it. Oh, that's really good. Going to a chocolate factory is an excellent way to learn a bit of Costa Rican culture. Well, they got a Chinatown in here with nothing in it, but at least they got a gate. So here's a fun little fact. If you go to the National Theatre and go into the cafe and order a coffee, you can ask to use the washroom and you can go inside and see the theatre. But remember, no photos in the theatre. Have a coffee in Costa Rica. San Jose's economy is growing rapidly thanks to the coffee trade. Costa Rica grows some of the best coffee in the world and it would be tragic not to taste an authentic local brew at one of the city's many coffee shops. San Jose is very hectic and busy and loud, but there are a lot of green spaces where you can disappear and have a quiet day. 
Although you are going to be inundated with the noise of a bunch of parrots squawking and pigeons flying around. But that's what makes this city so much fun. An interesting site we found during our walk along San Jose was part of the Berlin Wall located behind the yellow Foreign Ministry building. The Metropolitan Cathedral of San Jose is another must see. Be aware though, it is a working church and mass still takes place daily, so respect the congregation. Well, a drink that is highly recommended is Cass. It's like a lemonade with herbs. So let's see how it tastes. That is delicious. You gotta try this when you come to San Jose. So when you come to Costa Rica, make sure you spend at least a night in San Jose and stay at the Grand Hotel. It's a beautiful view overlooking the city and a nice quiet oasis. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell because we put up new travel guides and videos each week and you don't want to miss a thing.